It's Anthony Farnell's Weather School. We've got a really fun experiment for you today. We are going to make it rain. I've got my trusty sidekick, Storm the Weather Dog. He's going to be helping out with the experiment. He may be helping out with this experiment, he may not. All you need, you need some shaving cream for this. That's going to be the cloud. You need some food coloring. We chose blue here, that's going to be the rain. And then you need a glass jar filled with water. Now with all of our experiments, safety comes first. And that is why we've got our safety goggles. Storm. You're going to stay over there. And we've got gloves. Wait a minute. It's for sensitive skin, so I, I don't think we need gloves. All right, let's get right into this experiment. First things first, let's make that cloud. Here we go. Everybody makes different clouds. You can make it thicker or thinner. The thicker the cloud, the longer it's going to take for the rain to fall through. So to make our rain, you could just put food coloring right in here, but you're gonna go through a lot of food coloring. So we dilute it, and we're gonna do that right here in another little container. So we'll put maybe 10 to 15 drops in here. You can do a little bit more, a little bit less. The other fun thing about this experiment is that you don't have to use blue. You can use yellow, you can use red, you can use purple, you can make purple rain. Nice little print song. So let's get to it. So there's your cloud, and here are the water droplets. So the cloud is actually acting a lot like a sponge. So you know on a beautiful summer day, you get those fair weather cumulus clouds. They're very white, they're very fluffy. You kinda just wanna take a nap on them. And then as the afternoon progresses, they get a little bit darker, they get thicker. They're starting to hold more water vapor. So as we drop this food coloring in here, and we're gonna do quite a bit, because I made a thick cloud, we're gonna start to see how much this cloud can absorb, how much water vapor it can handle before it starts to rain. And as these clouds get filled up, they get darker, they turn gray, they almost turn blue in the summertime. Just add a little bit more here. Now a little bit earlier, we did a time lapse. So let's take a look at that and I'll explain what's going on. So as we filled it up with all of these water droplets, it was a sponge, it was absorbing everything. And then all of a sudden it starts to release the rain, the water droplets, the food coloring comes down. It happens slowly and rather a few at first and then more and more, and sometimes you can get these tropical downpours depending on just how much food coloring you put in the top of that cloud. Now, if you have a few kids uh, doing this experiment together, it's kind of fun. One can be blue, one can be yellow, another one can be green, and they each would be putting in droplets up on top, and then they can race to see how fast those raindrops take to uh, reach the ground. So just a, a fun little experiment to show you that this cloud is able to absorb an incredible amount of moisture, but at some point it will start to release that. And it generally will find a nucleus, a small dust particle or something like that. But that's a separate experiment. What we want to show though is how much it can absorb and then those raindrops, how quickly they will fall from the cloud. Let's look at that uh, one more time in fast motion and this is about three to four minutes worth of video and you can see those clouds, those droplets coming down, reaching the ground and then it happens a little bit quicker, a little bit more. That would be a summer downpour and that is how rain happens. So a pretty neat experiment to do. It doesn't matter how old or how young the kids are. Uh, it may not always look quite like this. Sometimes if you use too much It'll just look like a big cloud of mess, but hey, that's fun as well. And I'll show you just one more time. We're starting to get some pretty neat uh, water droplets or, or raindrops that are coming down from this shaving cream cloud. And look at that, they're making some O's and that will go right down to the bottom here. And you almost see like a downdraft, which is uh, a whole nother weather phenomenon when you have cold rain and, creates this wind that comes down from the cloud, but 
that too. We don't have time to get into details, but this is a fun experiment that you can do with the entire family. And hey, we just made it rain. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.